this computer uh, it was mainly used for computer graphics, for 3D rendering, 3D modeling. Oh. It came out in the in the early 90s. Uh, back back then, this was the computer to go when if you wanted to uh, produce a, a movie. Like Toy Story was was modeled and, and animated in this in the in a silicon graphic computer. Mm. The first Toy Story movie. Um, I personally uh, went to school for uh, for computer animation down in Miami. Uh, it was the school there was called International Fine Arts College. Now it's uh, part of the. Uh, oh, uh, Spain. Yeah. yeah. And Germany. Yeah, yeah, now it's called something else. But they had a computer. Uh, computer uh, design de uh, department there and, and we, we used O2s um, and the program that we used uh, we used to use was Maya from Elias Wavefront now Maya uh, still uh, still is being developed and it's owned by uh, Autodesk um, but back then this was the program and the computer to go for a computer what year was this, more or less, when this came out? Like this, this one came out in, I think, 19, 1992. What did you get? Oh, 92, okay. I, I got it from a guy from, uh, that I found on OfferUp for 50 bucks. <laughs> uh, yeah. What was the original sales price, you said? Over $10,000 yeah. for, for a base model. Yeah. Mm -hmm. this, this is the base model. This is the O2R5000. There, there was another uh, model called the um, R, I mean, O2 Plus, which was an R10,000, that, oh, wow. that, ha that has something to do with the microchip, um, and that one was over uh, close to $20,000, and there were others, there's there's one that was like a big server, I forget that, the model of, of that one, but it's like a big server, it sold for $250,000. Yeah. And this was only used for animation, so there was nobody not, that... Not only used for animation, it, it was, was only its capabilities. High end. Yeah. And uh, graphics. I mean, that's what it was mostly used for, you know, but I've also read uh, that it was used for other types of uh, processing... Scientific data. Yeah, yeah. scientific mm -hmm. data for mm -hmm. processing. Originally, it didn't have a uh, uh, LCD monitor. This is a later LCD monitor, it's but... Nice. Uh, nice design. Uh, it runs a, a, a Unix-based uh, operating system called IRIX, yeah. uh, developed by Silicon Graphics. Oh, okay. I used to use this program for modeling and animation. <laughs> nice. So this is like just a, a, a demo. It's a ball. It's called fur ball. So this is like uh, hair particles. Mm -hmm. And to render, um, it takes a few minutes, but. Uh, this computer renders one frame in in just a few minutes compared to other computers of the era that would take hours, if not days, for, yeah. for the same thing. To the Toy Story movie uh, took like, I don't know, a year or many, many months to render. When I went to school and used this computer, I, I modeled a, a simple scene that was animated for like 10 seconds. It took me like a whole weekend, 24 hours a day, you know, uh, and I, I stayed at the school all day, all, all night long, because I had to I had to take care of the, that no one mess up, mm -hmm. <laughs> turn off the computer yeah. or, or, or touch the computer. <laughs> yeah. So I had to sleep there, and it was wow. very long days and nights back then. And even on one of those, that was on an SGI machine. Yes. Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah. Well, we were using base models. You know, they're. Right, right. they're uh, uh, to, to render Toy Story, I'm sure they use, you know, <laughs> top so of the line SDI. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so by, back then, in the early 90s, who would buy that then? Was it mostly uh, like schools? professional firms? Or? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, man, No more person couldn't afford this right. computer. Yeah. So it was either schools or, or uh, companies that uh, produced uh, 3D movies or, mm. which, or uh, yeah, any, any type of animation or maybe TV commercials or games. Oh, yeah, I yeah. forgot. Uh, the Donkey Kong Country game for the Super Nintendo was also designed. Hmm. Not not the whole game, but the graphics of, of the game were made with a silicon graphics computer. Okay. Uh, and that, that game was huge because of the of the of the, of the graphics. It looked three yeah. D. Yeah. They, they were pre rendered three D images. So when you got this computer for fifty dollars, was there 
anything on it that told you where the computer was came from? Or? I, I know that uh, this was owned by, by a student. Uh, his father uh, had it in, in his house. He, his son had gone to, off to, I don't know, mili the military or somewhere. And he didn't know what it was, so he just sold it to me for 50 oh bucks. Just the computer. No, there's a, a working one on eBay sales for like 350 and 400. Maybe. Uh, and where did you get the rest of the uh... Uh, eBay? Uh, yeah, keyboard, mouse. I, it came with the camera, and and I had I got the monitor. I, I wanted this the CRT, but too big, so I got this one. Oh, even the keyboard is silicone graphics. It's all part of a even the T-shirt. Shirt. Yeah, mouse even the T-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing I can talk about is what I had to do to this computer to make to have it run. Mm -hmm. um, first, the CD drive uh, wouldn't uh, open, so I had to open up the whole computer clean it and, and I had to fix that. There was a little gear that was broken so I I, I uh, glued the gear because I couldn't find a replacement so now it works but it's kind of rough. Well, <laughs> the other thing is um, the hard drive wasn't working. It, it would boot up but uh, sometimes I would get a lot of errors so I, I, I was trying to find a solution on how to... First I, I got a replacement drive but I had to find a way of installing the system. So uh, there's, to install the system on, on this computer is, is a little complicated because it comes with, okay, look, the there you go. Render. There you go. <laughs> it's a hairball or a furball. Um, it's just one frame, so it's a still image. Oh. It looks very different from what you were showing earlier. Huh? Yeah, because what I was showing earlier was just a, like a, like a, a representation of, of, of the particles of the hair particles. Oh, okay. um, it, it's not going to show as many in right, the right, in, right. in the uh, in the image that is not rendered. So once you it's render it, sharp. Yeah. yeah it's, it looks so <laughs> the hard drive wasn't working, so I had to find a way of installing the system that was. And uh, to install the system here is not as easy as other computers. You need like seven different disks. Uh, you need update disks and, and uh, run a bunch of commands and one after the other and it's it's not uh, at least it was it didn't seem uh, easy for me. I tried uh, uh, installing the OS through uh, through the network from another computer, but I couldn't get that to work. So I ended up buying a hard drive with the system already installed. Wow! Uh, and so it's, it's working now. The other thing that happened to this is that uh, at one point uh, it wouldn't turn on. So I, after after uh, trying you know trying to figure out what it was, I found that uh, let me turn it off. I found that the the whole motherboard comes out through the back and the connector, the the, the card edge on the connect on, on the motherboard. One of the pins was broken. One of the one of the traces was was broken. So, so I had to fix that, and that's probably the tiniest soldering I've done. It's like a tenth of a millimeter. Uh, uh, why? How long did it take you to figure that out? Uh, which what the problem was? I looked all over with them with not a with a, a loop all over mm -hmm. the the motherboard trying to figure wow. out what it was and, until I was lucky to find that. 